tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, Doc, let me pull up this this article here. Dr. Steve Hotze, <laughs> Hotze Health and Wellness. And he has just turned me into a much smarter guy uh, when it comes to the body and the city. We were sitting there talking even yesterday about uh, – you're a great doc. you got a great educational bedside manner, Dr. Hotze. Let me ask you about this. this I'm going to go to the New York Post. This was just the other – this was uh, yesterday. Bacon causes cancer when pigs fly. Uh, Halloween week kicked off with a big scary news from the World Health Organization that processed meat is now in the same category of carcinogens as cigarettes, dot, 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 and sunshine. Um, they, they now classify processed meat as a class one carcinogen, meaning known to cause cancer, and red meat that I just love as a class two carcinogen likely to cause cancer. So if you're not very bright and you're working in television news and you read that, you must think I should stop eating red meat. I should stop eating bacon. Dr. Steve Hotze, Hotze Health and Wellness Center, right off of I-10 and Fry. Talk to me. Well, this is, this is the standard uh, comments we've been hearing for years about red meat. Now, let's differentiate. Notice they say processed meats can cause cancer. Well, what is processed meat? Well, that's like a wiener. It's like uh, it's a sausage, it's a corn dog, it's corned beef hash, mm-hmm. it's canned foods. What do these all these processed meats have in them that make them processed? Got all kinds of chemicals in them, preservatives, dyes, all kinds of chemicals, and the chemicals in themselves are carcinogenic. So is it any surprise that if people eat processed food and get all these chemicals in their body, they're going to have an increased incidence? of cancer because the chemicals in the food that preserve the food are carcinogenic. That means they cause cancer. So so forget, I mean, it's not the meats, it's the chemicals that we put in the meats and the hormones that they put in the meats that can cause problems if they're counterfeit hormones. Now we go back to red meat uh, and they go, well, red meat that's not processed likely could cause cancer. Well, let's just think about that. Uh, They've been trying to get Americans to eat less meat, and and Americans eat less red meat now than they did 125 years ago at the turn of the century. At the turn of the century, the average American individual that was well off ate 200 pounds of red meat a year. They ate very little chicken. Chicken wasn't a big dish. It was red meat. A poor person ate about 130 pounds a year. You know what the incidence of... uh, Cancer was very low in those days. The incidence of heart disease, very, very low. Now we eat about somewhere in the neighborhood of about 100 pounds of red meat a year. Now we eat, uh, we've increased, what have they? T- what has the USDA said, the United States uh, uh, Agency for, uh, for Dietary Programs? They've said, oh, you eat a lot of grain. You've got to increase your grain. You've got to eat your carbohydrates. So as we've begun to eat breads, wheats, and all of a sudden, guess what? Our incidence of heart disease, diabetes, um, high blood pressure, obesity has gone south. We're we, we're the we're the heaviest people in the we're the heaviest people in the world. Sixty-seven percent of Americans are overweight. Half of uh, a thirty-four percent of Americans are obese, compared to seven percent or eight percent in in Italy and eight percent in France. So we got a problem with our diet, and the di- the problem with the diet is not red meat. Heart disease was insignificant in 1900. It wasn't first described until the late teens or early 1920s. The first episode of heart attacks were devised. The reason people had heart attacks was not because they ate a lot of meat. People ate loads of red meat in the 19th century, in the 18th century, and all the way back. When they came to America, you know, we hear these, we hear these uh, do-good progressive uh, liberal doctors saying, we need to go back to only eating plants and be vegetarians we we, just like our founding fathers were our founding fathers didn't eat fruit and vegetables they ate meat they came here there was plentiful game for them to eat and remember back there we didn't have refrigeration we didn't have we didn't have refrigerators we didn't have freezers we didn't have trucks so there were growing seasons so you couldn't eat vegetables year around in those days you ate meat man yeah and that's why they ate 200 pounds of meat a year and 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 john adams and thomas jefferson Two constitutional heroes of yours, uh, uh. right? <laughs> yes. Lived to be 86 years of age. At a Come time on. at a time without at, antibiotics. With a, and a time without all the, right. the, the treadmills yeah. and, and the, the, all this. And so, and so, so this whole concept that red meat is bad for you, 
mind you, I don't recommend processed foods. I'm not a processed food guy. I think it's bad for you if it's in a package bag or box. Just forget it. That you eat whole foods and uh, eat eat your meats. I just had what did I have last night? I had a uh, uh, oh my gosh, I had a delicious night before last a delicious fillet. Uh, over at Papacitos, a filet tacos, and it was a full filet, and it was a taco. Buddy, I'm telling you what, that hit the spot. <laughs> and if you want another good filet, and I'm not getting paid for this, Johnny Carabas. Carabas has got the best filets in town, buddy. <laughs> they do. They got a heck of a filet. Dr. Steve Hotze, eating on the town. Find out the best thing. <laughs> no, but it, it, it scares people. We need all these things in our diet, right? We need a well-rounded diet of, of meat. You got to have meat, and I promote vegetables too. Meat and vegetables, my friend, is great for you. What you want to do is stay away from the simple carbohydrates and the sugars as best possible because that's what leads to the weight gain, which leads to the high blood pressure, which leads to diabetes, which leads to heart disease. You're the best. Hotze, H O T Z E, Hotze Health and Wellness, an amazing center with a pharmacy. It's like the Rich Carlton of medical care. Uh, right there at I-10 and by Fry Road. H-O-T-Z-E, Hotze Health and Wellness. The general himself, my friend, Dr. Steve Hotze. Thank you, sir. Have an outstanding day. Thank you, sir. Hour one in the can. Congressman Ted Poe joins us next.